Jab, one and twos. Don't go any more than twos and threes, and then don't kick either. I was about to say that. Silva has an advantage. She's got a triangle on. Previously, look at the speed at the takedown. Oh, and look at that. The throw, and the lock is on. Here are the numbers. Make of them what you will. 27 years of age, place 24. Very slight height differential. Uh, quite a lot of reach differential there in favor of the Brazilian. The numbers look the same, but Southpaw for Bagishvili. Also with that Sambo background. That's Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. These two fighters will have come to do business. Overseen, of course, by our referee, Mr. Gregor Szapanik. And uh, we've got three five-minute KSW MMA round for this strawweight bout. Bagashvili versus Ready. Silva. Ready. Fight. Two questions here. Can Bagashvili get the clinch? How quickly? And will Silva be too strong and dominant and be able to get her own game going? Just looking at the two different styles. Very tall, upright from Silva. Very crouched, protected from Bagashvili. Just look at the hands of Maria Silva. They look much bigger than they should do for somebody her size. She's got massive hands and uh, I just, the, the incredible punching ability she must be able to bring with that is gonna be a surprise. Picking her shots, dropping that left hand in. You can see she's an upright uh, 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 aficionado. She knows where to drop, drop the shots in. If she can find the chin of Bagishvili, well, she'll try and do damage there. Bagishvili, there interestingly goes. enough, not fighting Southpaw. There we go. That's what Bagashvili needed to do. The punches need to come up a little bit short or a little bit long for Silva, and that's the time for Bagashvili to go in. I love the little half steps from Silva. You can see how conservative she was with her footwork, but in the end, Bagashvili, perfect timing. I love the way that uh, Silva's got that left hand clinching the head. She's got it almost against Bagashvili's throat. What a great takedown that was. And it's stopped Bagashvili from working on the inside. She looks very comfortable and in control here. That left hand like a vice. It is, yeah, it's definitely reminiscent of like a tie clinch, but she didn't really control where her feet were and just that little sweep. It's exactly where Bagashvili wants to be. I love it, standing to pass. Don't see it enough. Up like lightning, and that, Christoph, is your school. Yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice job by uh, Silva getting up that right there, just pushing off really well, explosiveness right there, get the hips out, stand up. What I didn't like with her was that combination. Like, use your jab right now. Set up everything with the jab. One and twos. Don't go any more than twos and threes. And then don't kick either. I was about to say that. Don't use your kicks just yet. Just wait it out first. Get a control. And but Bagashvili catches that kick. Boom. Now I'm back down again on the floor. So, on the mat. And uh, no one causing too much distress for the other one at the moment. Bagashvili desperately trying to get to grips wrestling wise and Silva desperately trying to get to the upright to keep it strictly Muay Thai. Yeah, it's twice actually Silva has fought the grip on the leg because Bagashvili was gonna stand and pass the first time she stood up. And just now you could see her actually standing to try to throw the legs to the side and pass. And Silva fought those grips and stood up twice. Can she do it three times? Lovely single leg takedown. Got her shoulder in behind it. Forced Silver down. Silver on her back again, defending. But look, she's got a headlock on. Has she got it on deep enough? Well, she might well do. And uh, can she force something from this? She looks strong. She looks comfortable. And Bagashvili looks distressed. Referee looking very closely. I don't think we're in submission territory, or are we, Chris? Yes, I do. I think we've got a strong enough grip on there to cause a problem. Yeah, momentarily it looked tight. You could see the strain on Bagashvili, but she did a really good job of pyramiding up, putting forward pressure down, fighting the legs. She couldn't fight the hands, so she was able to fight the legs and then clear to north-south here. Very good. So that north-south position not really favoring anybody at this stage, except Bagashvili will try and work her way around into a position. Up go the legs. I have to say, Silva's legs have been impressive. Yeah, she's got a good jiu-jitsu game. That's the thing. She would have looked, like you mentioned, the Tansheva loss, who has a good jiu-jitsu game and knew that that would be a factor. Here. Gets back up and takes a right hand from Bagashvili. And uh, didn't want to do that. And look at the strength of Bagashvili. She super suplexes. Silva, I mean, unbelievable, up and over, down she hits the mat, but immediately the legs come back up to defend. And actually, now, Silva has an advantage. She's got a triangle on. 
Yeah, potentially. She's trying to isolate the uh, the arm, but actually Bagashvili was actually looking to sit back into one of her techniques. So from this position now, she's punishing Bagashvili, hitting that soft midriff section that weakens a fighter. It's joined up, and uh, Silva being warned about feet on the wire. Yeah, almost like a scissor choke position when you put your ankles together like this. Now, I don't think she'll be able to get it here. I don't know if one arm is in quite cleanly. Oh, yeah, she did. She actually has an arm isolated. This is very interesting. It's very unorthodox. It's kind of like shooting the ball for a three-pointer from halfway across the court. Very low percentage, but sometimes it works. Well, I thought it was Bagashvili that was going to be the interesting angle to this with the Samba. I thought she was going to bring the quirks. I thought she was going to bring the spice. I thought she was going to bring the pepper. But look who's bringing the Samba. It's Silva. I mean, she's causing all kinds of problems. That's an all-round game for me. And I mean, you know, she's causing Bagashvili the kind of problems she really doesn't want. You can see Bagashvili just very concerned of what a box of tricks and surprises Maria Silva has turned out to be. Ready, blue corner, ready, ready, fight. It's going to be very interesting to see whether the success ratio starts to decline for Bagashvili in getting those takedowns. And again, you know, that double leg was flared beautifully and then she tried to jump into that Keza position, but yeah, very, very wiry moves from Silva has caused frustration this far. Fights out of the Gurum Fight Club in Tbilisi. That Sambo background. And as I say, I look at Sambo and it is a dark art. It really is. It just encompasses anything and everything. And yeah, although a lot of it is gi, well, it brings something else. And that's what Bagishvili brings. And we've seen previously, look at the speed at the takedown. Oh, and look at that, the throw and the lock is on. She swept her straight into a guillotine attempt. That was insane. She cleared the legs. Let's see how tight that grip is. This might be the beginning of the end. She's got a crank on, yeah, fight, fight, but fight, no. Fight, 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 fight. Bagishvili manages to snap out. Incredible creativity from Silva. It's almost sacrificial. It's almost as if she wants you to take her so that she can perform these, you know, alpha elite moves to try and bring her opponent into, you know, won't you come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. And look at this, she's got full mount. And Bagashvili really cannot, well, do anything about it, but give up the back. There's the locks on, there's the body triangle, and this is the beginning of the round, this is not good. We're in submission territory, one look up from Bagashvili, really, and that arm will be in, and we have Marta Leon. Can she hold it? Bagashvili thinking about that counter leg lock a second ago, you could see her trying to go for it, but she's got to fight the neck. Well, we are in very dangerous territory for Sofia Bagisvili at the beginning of this second round. Maria Silva looking for the RNC and the finish. Well, she's given it up. There's confidence for you. Uh, she's got that triangle, that body lock on. And, you know, there's a point at which that's going to take its toll. She'll have been here before Bagisvili. This is no... Uh, surprise for her. She'll know how to try and work out of this, but you only need a millimetre and, you know, you give it up. Uh, this is looking terrible, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, it's good, though, as Silva continues to make the adjustments, go for the neck, adjust the legs. Patience, patience, patience. A lot of her grappling is very, very big, broad strokes of the brush, and I think she needs a number of little adjustments here to allow this thing to open up. Bagashvili working off her back the whole time, doing a great job of defending, but she's in uh, a, a tricky, tricky situation now. Uh, it's not a romp home at Cheltenham for Silva, to be precise. She's still working, but as Chris says, slowly, slowly does it. Those small adjustments, weakening, just looking for that arm in, and she just doesn't get it in that time. Still the chin of Bagashvili, tucked in tight on the chest. I mean, ruthless efficiency we're seeing here from Maria Silva. And Bagashvili's never been submitted. This would be a huge, huge stop, stop, feather stop, stop, stop. in the cap. Well, that's it, it's all over! Submission in the second round! What an incredible performance here! And her debut, Maria Silva! Cool, calm, clinical. The Brazilian sambas her way into victory and submits the unsubmittable Sofia Bagashvili! Well, that was a right royal terror, and I have to say, 
this is gonna be a real, real upset in the women's division. Second time she's hit a rear naked choke in her career, as we said. Sophia Bakashvili never submitted. We talked about the technical jujitsu being a factor in the defense that was definitive in the offense. It's her explosiveness, just the way she was able to handle those takedowns. Your winner by submission, Viuva Negra Mar.